Hello, designers, makers, and friends. Have you ever needed to design an interface that is data heavy or data rich, like a deck of cards or maybe a table? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to automatically import Airtable data into your Figma file using a plugin called Airtable to Figma. First, you'll need to create an Airtable and populate it with data. This can be like Pokemon or product information, whatever you're working with. Next, we'll need to install Airtable to Figma as a plugin. So you can do that by going to Plugins, Manage Plugins, Browse All Plugins, and type in Airtable. And it should be the first result. Um, I've already installed this plugin, so I'm not going to click that again. Um, and then finally, we'll need to create one instance of whatever we're trying to duplicate, right? So one record, uh, one frame, uh, or one component um, of whatever we're trying to duplicate. So in this instance, I have a frame uh, with a component inside called Pokemon, and I want to bring in, you know, all of these uh, additional records. And this would be very time-consuming if I wanted to do this manually, but with this plugin, um, it's it's literally just a snap. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So first, let's create a new Figma file. And then let's create a frame. I'm going to make sure that my frame is 100 pixels wide with 150 in height. And then I'm going to add a number. This is my Pokemon number, as well as a name of my Pokemon and the type. And then let's align that. Bring this up a little bit. There we go. And let's make sure that this is centered. And then I'm going to bring in my Pokemon image. All right. So if you're working with images, you do have to start with an image. Um, the plugin does not recognize, you know, if, if I were to use a rectangle here instead and just try to replace all my rectangles with images, you do have to start with an image. All right, so I got my Pokemon. I'm going to turn this into a component using Command Option K as the hockey and then rename it as Pokemon. So I have my first Pokemon. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my Airtable instance, and then I'm going to create a shareable grid link or grid view link. So you can do that by clicking this icon inside Airtable uh, in your Airtable, and then copy this link. This link's going to be unique to you. So if I click in here, whoops, and Command C or Control C to copy, and then come back into your Figma file and then open your Airtable, uh, Airtable Figma plugin and select the component or frame that you want to duplicate and go ahead and paste in your Airtable grid view link and boom the plugin should bring in all the relevant columns that you've set up in Airtable so in this instance I have a number I have a name, I have a type, and I have the Pokemon image, right? So I bring in all these sorts of um, rich data types. So uh, the first one, if you go back into my Airtable, is just a regular string, a single line text. The number is also technically a single line text. And then my type is actually a long line of text, as well as the image, which is an attachment. So once that brought that in, I can click in next. I can change the spacing even of these elements. If I wanted to have columns or um, a row, I'm going to do a col I'm going to do a matrix actually. Um, I can change the default spacing to 10 pixels. I can increase the number of columns here, but I like the three by three, so I'm going to keep it that way. And I'm going to hit done. And boom, there you have it. 
I brought in nine different records in you know about half a minute. Otherwise, this exercise would have taken me maybe 30 minutes to create. So there you have it. That's how you automatically bring in Airtable data into your Figma file. Thanks.